Hi, I'm Harris, and welcome back to another Santa's Pick Saturdays. Going in the erudite direction this week, rather than last week where I reviewed a paracord survival bracelet that you could use to start a fire and save your life. Well, I suppose it's possible learning some of the things in this book could save your life, but at the very least, it's a lot of fun along the way. Epic review. What If is a collection of answers to questions by Randall Monroe. He's a NASA scientist, robotic scientist. Well, he was. He did that professionally. And he started a web comic strip called XKCD that he did part-time, became so popular he started doing it full-time. And he invites readers to write in questions that someone with a science, engineering, mathematics background might actually be able to find the answers to. Mostly weird, strange questions that you ask yourself, how in the world did someone come up with that question? It lists for $24 right now on Amazon. It's about $14. Find out more about it at the link down below this video. And that's $14 for a hardback copy of the book, which makes for a more substantial gift. If you'd like to see what the cover is underneath, a lot of focus on dinosaurs here, but what's even more interesting is inside the cover, a map of the world where bodies of water are the most interesting places and land is just sort of that filler in between. Here's the inside cover and with many books you would suspect they just scribbled things out that had no meaning, but with an engineer and mathematician scribbling them out they may actually be part of how he found the answers to the questions people asked. And here are some of the topics of the questions people asked about and some of the others. My daughter Roxanne and I recently watched a Korean movie about an earthquake at a nuclear power plant and all the things that would happen and go on. And it turned out there's a related question here about swimming in the spent fuel rod pool. Would you succumb quickly to radiation, to heat, exactly what would happen? And he takes the question seriously and with some humor answers it and to my surprise it turns out that swimming in the upper layer of the spent fuel rod pool you'd probably be exposed to less radiation than just standing next to the pool. Water is very good at shielding from radiation. With the disclaimer that he's not actually recommending that you go out and give it a try. Another interesting question asked and answered, which US state is flown over the most? And it turns out that Flights between the Northeast U.S. and Atlanta, where Delta has its hub, are the most flown over states. You're most likely to look up at any given time and see a plane in the sky. And the ever popular, if you jumped out of an airplane with a giant balloon and helium tanks, could you fill up the balloon fast enough to slow your fall so you could survive the landing? And like in tea, I had to read the answer to the question of can you stir tea fast enough, really, really, really fast, to add energy to the water to bring it to a boil. And as a bonus, the author references a study someone did that determined whether stirring tea actually does cool it down faster than just letting it sit. Turns out, it doesn't. I did find in the book that a number of the questions are world-ending type questions, and some that even didn't start out that way end up that way. So the information you learn reading What If and the places it takes your imagination, it's a lot to digest in one sitting. Speaking of which, he does mention that if you could digest cellulose, this book would give you about 2,300 calories. So it's not the kind of book most people would consume in one sitting, but it's a fun book to have around to just flip to some page, read the question someone thought to ask, and to read a serious answer to that. Pretty good gift for about $14. Find out more about it at the link down below this video, and I'll be back next Saturday with another gift suggestion, something completely different. See you on the next review. Shopping is easy when you know what to buy. At Epic Review, guys, a gift of a try. What does the fox buy? Nobody knows. But before he goes shopping, he watches our videos.